Taylor. And I'm Tamika Cobb, and we are second year occupational therapy students at Alabama State University. And welcome to Our Talk. Our Talk was established so that it could serve as a support group for African American occupational therapy students. Some programs may not have an already functioning support group for minority students, so we decided to put one into play and do it on a virtual basis so that everybody can access it. So we hope you enjoy everything that we have to offer on the site and all the topics that we share some experiences as well as some um, solutions to dealing with each concern. So enjoy the site, enjoy the show, enjoy yourselves. Today we're going to be discussing encouragement and how important that component is to being successful in an occupational therapy program, especially when you make up the minority and you may be the only one, two, or three African American students that make up your class. Um, personally for me, I think that encouragement starts with self. It's sometimes you got to do like David did and encourage yourself. Gosh! Show <laughs> You really do. You have to encourage yourself. Otherwise, you're not even gonna be in a habit to encourage anybody else. Um, so, do you think if someone else is trying to encourage you, do you think it'll work if you can't encourage yourself? I don't think so either, because you you're not gonna be readily receptive to what somebody else has to say because you're not used to being encouraged. I think I think it starts as a conditioning process. You you have to know who you are. Not only know who you are, but speak into existence what you want to happen. You got to say it so you can see it. Now that, that's a phrase. Right? Bumble stick of that, folks. Say it so you can see it. <laughs> say it so you can see it. Yes, that's true. Yeah. I mean, so, okay, go ahead. Yeah. No, go ahead. I would say I always, personally, I have this little thing called a blessing book. Mm -hmm. And that's when I write down things that I've gone through in my life that have been tough, that have been hard. But it helps me because whenever I'm going through something at that time, I can look back over those things and see where God's brought me from. And you can't feel but be encouraged. You know a song that came to my mind when you say that? What? As I look back over my life, yes, right. thank you now, and I think things are over. But yeah, um, <laughs> really though, you really just segue into a strong source of encouragement for me because sometimes if you have a song, whether it be whatever kind of song, I mean, most of the time you think about encouragement, you, you probably think about a song that's tied to your faith. Mm -hmm. Sometimes a song will get you over because it's ministry in that song. Mm -hmm. and. If you can use a song as a source of encouragement, then, you know, I think it's easier to, since it's easier to remember a song, I think that, you know, that will probably give you a, a, a foundation of kind of where to start draw, drawing some encouraging words from. So as a student, we all agree that we need to encourage each other. Absolutely. Because yes. this process, this OT process, it's not like anything that we've been through before. It's not like high school. It's not like undergrad. And it really kind of exceeded what I thought I was getting myself into when I wanted to, you know, enroll in an occupational therapy program. So what advice can we give those students that's in that type of situation? Do we want to advise them to stay to themselves or do... What would you say if... If you were in a situation where you had to give even some one-on-one -on -one advice to a student who was in that situation where they were in a class of 15 and it's only one other African American student in that class, not saying that encouragement can't come, you know, from our, from anybody, but sometimes it's more comfortable to talk to or, or have somebody 
that's in your circle that you feel like you can relate to. So that's really what I mean. I'm not really saying you can't get it from another race or another culture. I'm just saying. But well, sometimes you may have to. You might have to step out of your comfort zone. Right. To receive that encouragement. Right. But maybe the student can go talk to a family. But I know we've all had experiences where we have had to go to a specific mm -hmm. um, faculty member to get back. Yep. Sometimes it's not enough to get it from yourself. Or sometimes it's not enough for me to hear from you or you. I need to hear from somebody who's on the outside looking in and who can tell me, you know, I've seen you pull through before. Who's been through what you've been through. Right. right. I mean, those are the best examples. People who have gone through what you've gone through, who understand, who knows what it's like, who won't look down on you when you can't, or when it seems like you can't keep going, but there to help you get through it. So, thinking back over your OT experience, your experience at Alabama State, can y'all give a situation where you had to use or, or rely on your classmates for that encouragement? If, go ahead. I know it was several times, but um, when we was going through the row, my God, my God, don't even have to But it was times where I just wanted to walk out to school and go home to my door. But I had to keep reminding myself that I can do all things through Christ that's right. And I must say that the faculty here at Alabama State um, Occupational Therapy Program has helped me tremendously throughout this program. Also considering the fact that I have a health condition that I battle day to day. And if I didn't have my classmates or the faculty, I know I wouldn't be here today. I can't even imagine going through it's everything that you've been through. I mean, I know it's been hard. It's done. But Tamika just said, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. What about yours, Dan? <clears throat> as far as if, if I have a um, particular verse that I like to refer to, I don't, I don't really have a favorite um, because you can thumb through and find, just put your finger on any one of them and be encouraged by the any, word. Yeah, just the word, period. Okay. Um, I think I'd like to go to, though, um, Ephesians 3.20 that says he's able to do exceedingly abundantly and above oh, all that I can ask or think. And y'all know how my thoughts get. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of very grandiose, if you will, in my thinking. So to know that he's going to even do above that, it's I mean, yeah, I get hyped up. Yeah. Mine is Jeremiah 29 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you a hope and a future. I love that scripture. I know it was difficult at first for me because I have a daughter back in Birmingham and I didn't think that I was putting my priorities in order. So I had to refer back to Jeremiah 29 11 in order to get me through. Because every night I was crying. Today, you know, I cry, but I know that what I'm doing is to better our lives, and so I can provide for her. I think it's I think it's important for all of us as students to remember that incorporating some type of some area of our spirituality is going to be important, even at this stage, because you'll be doing it on a daily basis as you come into contact with your patients. You'll with your patients. You'll have to um, keep it, take into consideration their faith, how their spirituality may impact treatment, how their spirituality may impact what you're saying and your service delivery. So I, I think that we kind of look at, you know, our faith as being something that we only can lean on right now, but you have to take into consideration that that's, you know, that's gonna be a part of your practice. So. What better time than the present to go ahead and get that thing rolling and get in the habit of incorporating some type of spirituality and drawing encouragement from that? Because not only will you have to take the, that piece into consideration, but you'll also have to use encouragement from day to day with your patients. 
I mean, how are you going to get the, the most out of them if you're not able to encourage them? So for everybody watching, we just want to encourage you to encourage yourself and encourage your classmates, especially if you're going through a tough time with school and if you're having external situations that's going on that may impact how you're doing in your program. Find somebody to talk to that you know is going to keep it positive and just going to surround you with positive energy. Um, and they have to know that they are here for a purpose. Right. You have to know that. So if we come this far, don't let no one tell you that you can't. Because you can. And don't get down on yourself when you have a bad day or when you don't feel like um, going on. Just know that it's normal. Those days come and those days go, but just know at the end of the day, like Tamika said, you get for a purpose. Cause what that song said? I was thinking of a poem that said, "Life for me ain't no crystal stair, and, <laughs> and and your good days outweigh your bad. They days. outweigh, cause you gonna have them. I know. Um, a lot of times we come into the, the program or into any graduate program, mm -hmm. but especially especially occupational therapy. You may not be used to not doing well on a test. Mm -hmm. I know that came for me on a very sad day <laughs> last semester. I didn't really do well on a test and it, it put me in a real low place. Mm -hmm. But just like you said, Courtney, for those of you who are watching, don't get down on yourself when you don't do as well as you expected to or if that happens to you. Don't, don't get down on yourself. Just go hard and make a hold next time. And I promise at the end of the day, at the end of the semester, you'll be proud when you look back and say, we got through this. Because that's exactly how we felt like this past semester. So thanks for watching our talk. Um, check out our other episodes where we'll be discussing other concern areas that will hopefully be helpful to you. Thank you. Peace. Bye.